Okay, continuing on with the second half of the uh, hypothesis test for the mean with sigma known, a p-value test. Let's uh, catch up with our notes here now. And notice that since we're dealing with the p-value test, we're going to um, have to follow these notes here very carefully. Notice the first thing in the comparison section is that we're going to determine the type of test. Now to determine the type of test, what we need to do is to use the sign of H1 and the formula sheet. So first of all, the sign of H1. Well, as we look back up, we see here that H1, our alternate hypothesis, has the sign mu is greater than 1900. So think about that greater than sign as an arrowhead pointing to the right which tells us then that the type of test we have is a right tail test. The formula sheet is where we got the formula that told us that this was a Z test. And so the type of test that we are performing is a right tail Z test. Now, we have the instructions for all three types. This one just happened to come up to be a right tail test. But the instructions here for all three types are clearly written out. If you simply follow these instructions, you'll be fine. Notice here that we're dealing with a right tail test, so we have to follow the middle set of instructions. And it tells us the p-value is the area under the curve to the right of the test statistic. And our test statistic, as you recall, was 2.412. So let's make a little bit of a drawing here. Here's our normal curve. Okay, over here some point is 2.412. The p-value that we're interested in is the area which is under the curve to the right of 2.412. Well, that's easy to do in Alex because what they're asking us to do then is to simply calculate the p of z. So we go over to Alex, we grab our P of Z button up, but we notice the P of Z button likes the area to the left. So we're going to go 1 minus the P of Z of 2.412 and we will calculate our P value to be 0 0.0079. Okay, let's write that down. And uh, notice they want this to three decimal places, so 0 0.008. So 0 0.008 is our p value. Now, we have some things that we need to do back on the uh, form, so let's go back there and decide now what it is that we have. So with our p value of 0 0.008, we're going to make the comparison now. And what we compare to then is the alpha value, which is also known as the significance level. In this case, our alpha, our significance level, is 0.1. So what we're doing then is comparing the p-value against the alpha, which is going to be clearly less, because the p-value is less than the alpha value 0.1 so clearly we have the arrow the inequality sign pointing to the left and notice here if the p value is less than alpha then we are going to reject the null hypothesis so let's make a note here that we are in fact rejecting the null hypothesis based on the p value being less than 0.1. What we're saying here is that we are beyond a reasonable doubt because our doubt at 0 0.008 is less than the reasonable doubt of 10%. So we get the conviction in a sense we reject the null hypothesis. Now at this point I often tell people don't think too much. Don't think yet. Simply follow the instructions which are on your pink chart 
as we look at hypothesis testing conclusions. And so let's just trust this chart uh, as we go through there and try not to think too much. Okay. First stop, start here at the start button and answer the question, does the original claim contain equality? In other words, let's go back up here and take a look at what our claim was. Okay, the original claim was the symbolic claim. And notice that that symbolic claim did not have an equal in it. It only had the greater than sign. So does the original claim, the symbolic claim, contain equality? And you say, no, it doesn't. So we move our way down to the second diamond. Now, do you reject the null hypothesis? And the answer is, yes, we did. So what we do is we follow this branch, the yes branch, and we read then the conclusion the sample data support the original claim. And of course what that was, was that in fact the mean has increased. Okay, so we are supporting this original claim that the mean has increased. So in Alex, now we can safely answer the question, can we support the claim that the mean breaking strength has increased? And we can say yes, we can. So let's check that. And then we will be ready to click next.